to North 100 Showdown, a Canadian Highlander Throwdown. My name is Serge. Joining me today, I finally get to fight Nelly. Here we are. It's my second appearance on North 100 Showdown, fight, facing off against the other host. <laughs> thank you for being here. It's great to have you. Oh, thank you very much, Serge. I am very happy to be invited. North 100 Showdown is brought to you by you, the support of the Patreon, patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. If you have any questions about the format, if you want to see our deck lists, check out all the information in the description down below. I got Enchantress. I am on mono black demons and storms. Oh, all right, let me tell you about my deck a little bit. Okay. This is an engine deck. This is a density deck. The goal is to play bad creatures and bad enchantments in such a combination that somehow they miraculously transform into something better than that. By our powers combined. Yeah. It's it's very cool, very powerful, uh, very easy, like one of those Rube Goldberg machines to like put a stick in and have it all fall apart. <laughs> right. My okay. points, Mox, Mox, Crop Rotation, Strip Mine. Okay, I like it. So. Yeah. There's a lands package in there yes, as well, yeah, yeah. Kind of, right? So my win cons are I can go infinite with lands, uh, I can go infinite with squirrels, and at the point where I'm infinite with mana, I can do some shenanigans and like exile all your stuff. But I'm not doing anything like uh, Sarah's or the sigil. You know, I'm not making angels like a lot of the old oh, okay. weird win conditions Don't, or no like, war words four or anything. Yeah, randomly at your end yeah. step or something. Yeah, okay. none of that. None of that. Okay. I'm playing um, a deck that's still sort of searching for its its identity, but it has made some. Uh, victorious appearances at YJ in the past, so by popular demand, we're bringing this one back. Um, it's just black cards, and it can win through Tendrils of Agony and several spells in the same turn, but it also just plays, like, Grave Titan oh. and Kalidus, so, and, like, Gurmag Angler, so it can kind of, like, maybe hand attack you, and if you aren't making a board presence, it can go for just, like, I have a creature, I'm going to attack and, like, support that with a Duress, or, like, maybe a Doomblade or something. Hmm. Or if, like... It finds enough tutors, it can go like, okay, well, we're going to behold the beyond and then, you know, go get the Lotus and the Yog Will and then cast Lotus. a bunch of spells. Oh. Yeah. So my points are Black Lotus, Imperial Seal, Wishclaw Talisman, and like or one or anything? more. No, none of those okay. cards. Yeah. One more cheap tutor, I think. I mean, one more cheap tutor is good enough. Okay. All right. You won the die roll? I'd like to go first. You ready to fight? Yes, please. Let's do it, friend. Good luck, Serge. It's Swamp and Imperial Seal. Okay, that's better than Swamp Thought Thieves. Thought Seas. I mean, I lose two life either way, yeah. so I got that going for me. I'll just pick a card to put on top and go to 18. Just, like, just a random one, right? Yeah, yeah. You just have to <laughs> shuffle your library. Pick a card, and any lose card. lose two life, and then put <laughs> and it And then you put a top. random card on top. Yeah, yeah so. that's how it works. That's, that's <laughs> the one. Good card, really. I mean, sometimes it is sort of like that. And there's the one I would like. What card you got? I'll show you next turn. Oh, okay. But first, I need you to take your turn. Okay. Okay. Maybe we'll get that Highlander Chivo where both players are shuffling their deck at the same time. It's kind of tempting. Can I make this work the way I want it to? No, I can't. I'm going to go Forest. Mox Emerald. Okay. And I'm going to cast... I like your start. Thank you. Green, green into a fertile ground. Well, I like it even more now. Whenever enchanted land is tapped for mana, it's pro it produces an additional one of any color. Okay. My mana is perfect. You may cut. And that's the card you're looking this for? This is my card. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, pass. All right. I'd like to untap, draw a card, and then play an ancient tomb. Oh! Was that, was that what you tutored for? Maybe. I'll, <laughs> I'll lose two life and cast Jet Medallion. Yeah. You don't have to worry about that card. Okay, great. And then... So that makes all black spells cheaper? My black spells. Yeah. Sorry, apologies. That's apologies. okay. That's okay. Uh, apologies right. accepted. Yeah. Your black spells still full, full cost. <laughs> I would then like to cast your S. Targeting Surge. <sighs> Could you not? All right. <laughs> I, I would like to cast your S. So Marsh Flats? You got to keep that one. Uh, Spirited Companion. That one's yours. All right. And then your options are Druid Class, Wild Growth, or Savine's Reclamation. So no Enchantress, but some action. Yeah, okay. I guess, how much more time does it take you to cast Savine's Reclamation if I put it away? It's five mana, but then I get to return two things. Right. Um, yeah, it's weird, right? Like, this yeah. deck is so weird. There's no easy target. There's no Enchantress. And you're like, which kind of odd engine piece do we hit here? Yeah, sure. I'll take Druid Class. That's fair. I think, in, to, for what it's worth, I think that's what I would also take. 
Cheers. It's like, I can bring it back for three mana, but like, whatever. Back All right. Friend. Draw for the turn. Uh, I'm going to play this Marsh Flats, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to do a little bit of a shortcut here. Great. Okay. So I'm going to cast Spirited Companion. I'm going to have a draw trigger. Then I'm going to fetch this for a white source. Your Fertile Ground makes white. Fertile right? Ground okay, makes great. white, yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to crack this for a white source, which is Ravana, and I'm going to cast an Enlightened Tutor, and I'm going to put a card on top of my deck. Just in response to this? Or? Yeah. Okay, great. So I end up drawing that. Wait, you have a hand attack. Maybe I'm supposed to do it slower. No, this is fine. I do it the way I want to. Okay, so... So this is going to go into Lose the graveyard. I go down to 19. I'm going to put a Savannah into play. Uh, and I'm going to end up with an Enchantress's Presence on top of my deck. Okay. Uh, which I'm just then going to put into my deck. In your hand, yeah. Yes. Sounds good. And maybe, again, I'm against black. This is probably safer earlier. Or pardon me, it's probably safer to sequence it slightly different. It's just so fun the way I, I did it. <laughs> yeah, I mean... <clears throat> You're allowed to cast the top of the deck tutor before the draw trigger if you want. Right. It's totally fine. <laughs> or you or you can hold it if you want to play around duress effects more. But I mean I cast my duress, so Well you still have I must be done, and right? Inquisition and him to Torak and Collective Brutality doesn't hit this. Fair enough. Would you like to cut? No thank you. Alright, so this ends up on top, this ends up in my hand. And then I'm going to cast. Uh, I'm going to leave that actually because okay. I can. I can do that nope. next turn. Wild growth needs to draw you a card. Yeah, that exactly, exactly. Uh, pass. Okay. Hmm. Well, sure. This is the play. We're going to lose two life. Cast graveyard trespasser. Is this the one that eats my graveyard? Yeah, I'll take a... What are my options? So your options are Druid class, a land, or Enlightened Tutor. Sure, I'll take Druid class. Uh, this is bad for me. So this is any time it ETBs or attacks exile a card? Yeah. And, and it, you've now introduced the day-night mechanic and too? it's day now, exactly. Okay. And I'll pass the turn. So what happens when it flips? Flipping. Uh, It turns into a 4-4 four, four with the same ward ability where you have to discard a card if you want to target it. And then when it uh, enters a battlefield or attacks, exile up to two cards from graveyards. So instead of exiling one, it exiles two. But uh, Daybound doesn't, Daybound and Nightbound doesn't like exile the card to come back in. So it's only if it was already night. Sure, 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 sure. You get the ETB, but yeah, you get to eat two cards when you attack, basically. Uh -oh. And you get a 4-4. Four, four. Don't like that. All right, we'll go ahead and draw here. Uh, three mana. I'm going to cast Enchantress's Presence. Groovy. That works. Then I'm going to play a Forest and cast Wild Growth on my Savannah. I probably want to protect my Savannah. I'm going to tap the Savannah to cast a Wild Growth onto my Forest. Draw I've got hard. a draw trigger on the cast there. Draw for the turn. And now I'm at least I cast something. Yeah, you're probably not getting anywhere on my turn, right? From the uh, you know the engine I have over here, but I think that's all I can do, and I'll pass to you. Okay, I'll on top. Relevant. Um, sure. Let's cast Thoughtseize targeting you. Oof. Uh, well, it wouldn't have... be one of my turns if I didn't lose two life. <laughs> I have a Savine's Reclamation sure. and a Brushland. I'll take Savine's Reclamation. Yeah. I'm at 12. Yep. And I'll attack for three and exile some means recognition. Yeah. All right. Well, I've got a land in hand and I'm getting attacked for three. I'll go down to 16 here. Back to you, friend. Ooh. All right. No follow up demon, thank goodness. No follow up second swamp yet, unfortunately. Whenever you play an enchantment card. So Enchantress's Presence is old templating. That's when you cast. cast. Yeah. When you cast. Okay. Yeah. When you're smiling. Oh, when you <laughs> oh, when you're Sorry. smiling. Yeah, probably gonna get demonetized now. <sighs> Sorry, Graham. We thought singing during the the Highlander games was a good idea. Oh, Nelly, I don't think we're in trouble there. No, yeah, you don't think the whole. <laughs> How dare you? Serge and I haven't uh, gotten close enough for the AI to figure out what song we're singing. Yeah. How many removal spells do you have in hand right now? Well, it depends what you define as a removal spell. <laughs> 
what would you like to be removed? Because All right. it depends. For enchantments, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> yeah. Zero. Yeah, black means <laughs> enchantress is not great. Yeah. yeah. So I've got this finale devastation. Nice. Which I'm going to cast this turn. Great. And my options are cast it for two, get an Argothian enchantress out. Right. Doesn't you know, has Shroud, doesn't do anything this turn, but you're not applying a ton of pressure, I'm at 16. Okay. The other option is to cast it for four, I don't want Blossoms. Okay. It enters the battlefield, draws me a card, and it's a second Enchantress. But then it leaves myself open for removal. It's not true. But yeah. either way, I'm not doing anything this turn, so I can set myself up at the point where I hope this is an enchantment off top with an Argothian Enchantress, and then I start to pop off with the card advantage there. Or I get the guaranteed card draw. I replace itself with the Eidolon of Blossoms. And then maybe I'm off to the races if I dodge the removal spell. I honestly don't know which is correct. And I'm not, I'm not asking for play advice, but I'm most, mostly just being like, this is the quandary that I'm having right now. You're obviously welcome to weigh in if you want to, but I, I, I don't know where to go with this tutor. Yeah, I'm going to do my best not to belie any of my position strategically. Yeah. Uh, but I want to point out that I really like that you've explained your play and your choices. <laughs> Just in case anyone happens to be watching this game or listening in and wants to learn more yeah. about what it takes to play Canadian Highlander. All right. I'm actually going to go X equals four and okay. cast the Eidolon. Great. Um, and just see what happens. Because you need to have exactly removal spell in hand. And I already, I already replace it. Whereas uh, I think having no draw is bad. Like this at least replaces itself. Right. And I can double block. I'm not going to double block. Maybe you'll double block. <laughs> I mean, then the question is how many removal spells do you have, right? It's like if you double block, then suddenly <laughs> your spirit and companion, your idolatry blossoms have both replaced themselves and you get to kill my graveyard trespasser. Oh, that baby. sounds so good. I'm actually a little annoyed that you keep exiling my graveyard, but here we are. All right, draw a trigger off the Eidolon. And I'm going to play this Brushland because you could always him me and then it wouldn't be safe. Fair. So there's no, like, it's, I'm not going to get you. Uh, go to you. Untapping. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, let's attack and... Uh... I don't know if you're getting your spells back, but we talked about how you're going to get your lands back sometimes, so I guess I'll get your land out of there. And that can hit any card, but you, gain, yeah, you get yeah, shenanigans get, if you hit a creature? Yeah, I actually okay. get to drain you for one if I ever hit a creature. And I can cool. target my own graveyard, too, I believe. Yeah, a graveyard. Cool. Okay, so three. No blocks. I'll go to 13. I, yeah, I've decided not to double block with my I, Enchantress. I had a hope. Shocking, I, had, I know. So I have some options, too. And... Yeah. Does this make a difference, actually? Sorry. I think it does. Okay, let's cast the Sedgemore Witch. Oh, yeah. Dropping to 10. Yeah. Go ahead. So, Menace, and you make pest tokens whenever you cast. Is it instant, instant sorcery, sorcery or any non creature not, spell? Not non creature, okay. just instant sorcery. Yeah. I spoke so confidently on how you were never going to flip. Oh. Caracas pass. So I'm glad I got the Eidolon because I whiffed. And at least... Right, okay, so at it played least out better. A little, I think it's slightly better because I got the extra card draw. But yeah, careful with your legends. Nighttime. Nighttime has been introduced. It is night. Don't like this. Jam for seven. I'm going to throw the Spirited Companion under the boss this sure. bus, this time. Sorry, I'll exile your two remaining yeah, cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The spirit. Yeah. So Spirited Companion is going to block. I'm going to take three, and we're both at ten. Great. I'll then lose two more life, because why <laughs> wouldn't I? Yeah. And exile three cards from my graveyard. Oh, is it the Gurmag Cast Angler? Gurmag Angler. Oh, God. I might be dead here. Back to you. Still unless, nighttime, one spell. Unless I rip a card right off the top. I mean, you can block this. This is only seven. I'm going to play the Hall of Helion's Generosity. Oh, that's good. Kind for of? For reasons, right? So I have to block next turn. Uh, I'm going to go to three. 
I can get the Spirit of Companion back because in response to the Exile trigger, I yeah, can get the Hall of the Gods of City. Do it main phase. Whatever. Too, yeah. yeah. So I'm at the very least drawing two cards next turn. Okay. Um... Oh, there's an interesting line in which I have so much mana. I can get back the Spirit of Companion, or I can get back the Eidolon, or I could get back both. Right, yeah, you could upkeep because, and get yeah. one back, yeah. Yeah, you're only in trouble if I kill the uh, Eidolon pre-combat, but if that happens, I might I have a I'm dead anyways, anyways. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So go to you. Okay, we're going to untap. Yeah. Still nighttime. Um, yeah. Just before and after. I think I just go to combat first. Yeah. <sighs> Trigger. I Tar know. I need, I need to think about this yeah, now. Yeah, so, take your time. Take your time. advantages of bringing back the Spirit of Companion. It only costs two mana to get me two draws next turn. Yep. Um, Disadvantages of doing that. If I want to bring back the Eidolon, I can't. Actually, I think this gives me the most resources. If I do this, if I save this, I can always do it in the upkeep if I want to, but that costs me seven mana. So I think I save the Spirited Companion, leave Eidolon in the graveyard, and if I stop to pop off, I can start to bring it back. It might be worth knowing too, if you do save the Spirited Companion, you don't lose a life. That That because, is actually quite because big. Because this ability will yeah. get countered. If, yeah. Uh, the so we'll do, not there. We'll do um, white, colorless, and one sure. Spirited Companion on top. Okay. Uh, we'll go to blockers. Countered. I'll block the 5-5. Five, five. Sure. I'll take 7 damage. I go down to 3. Okay. All right. I think so far this has been about the truest representation of this deck. This is <laughs> this is like exactly what this deck does. <laughs> Mana starved, using your own life as a resource. I may have Imperial sealed turn 1 to go get an Ancient Tomb, then didn't draw a land again until like the final turn of the game. But I'll cast a Wishclaw Talisman for 1 with Jet Medallion. Ooh. And then um, I'll play a Wasteland for turn and activate. So sorry, this comes in with three wish counters. I'll use one and then pass it over to you. And then I'll search my library for a card. You have the kill? <laughs> I do, yeah. You have the kill right now? Yeah, I just want to look through my library to try to remember what my tenth point was. Sure. I think it was a throw. Yeah, oh, I'm curious like, where your final three damage is with no I, black mana, though. How can I barely fit in one more little piece of powerful magic? Oh, right, it's Yogwill. It's because last time I played this Sure. Yogwill wasn't points. Yeah, okay. Um, I'll put this card into my hand, and I'll shuffle if it becomes relevant. I'll cast Black Lotus. Oh! I'll make Bump in the night? What do you got? Yeah, basically. I have Tendrils of Agony. Oh, yeah. Storm is three. Sick. Target you. Sick. Yeah. I'm very curious, though. Spirit oh, yeah. What companion. was your going to be? Yeah. Into Sithis? Nice. So that's two draws into Abundant Growth. Oh, wow. I think I'm... Oh, we were going to get there. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. My yeah. We are drawing a lot of cards at that point. I don't know if I'm necessarily stabilizing, <laughs> but that's big. Game one goes to Nelly. Sick. Wow. Just in time. Wild. Yeah. I uh, I bricked a little there, but then again, you applied pressure, and that's what you sure. that's what you do against Enchantress, right? right. Yeah. You just, like, make him have it. And you made me have it. It's. I feel like, you know, after playing this first game, these decks sort of feel like cousins because they both are just, like, trying to do a combo, but also playing a bunch of creatures. And, like, your creatures, like, are part of the combo. Like, yeah. your creatures, like, are the combo, too. But, you know, then you have situations where it's like, well, yeah, they're the combo, but it's also just a spirited companion. Like, it drew me a card. Like, it's not doing anything else right now. It's going to jump block, right? Sure. Whereas my creatures are like, well, this is the backup plan for when the storm combo doesn't happen. In hindsight, Eidolon was correct, which is good. Yeah, that know. worked out better. Yeah. I mean, it got me one card deeper, but a uh, little, little bit slow there. I do wonder if, as soon as I saw your Graveyard Hate card, if I was just supposed to fire off and get that Ranger's Path, it draws me a card, it's slightly cheaper, and I gain a little bit of passive life off of the land centering play, but probably not. Sorry, so which know. one is Ranger's Path? Sorry. So it's it's basically, it's a one and a green enchantment. Whenever you play a land, gain a life, and you can level it up because it's a... Oh, Druid class, right? Sorry, what? Oh, did I say Ranger's Class? Right, right. Right, right. Ranger's right. Class is the one that makes, makes a wolf. A wolf. Yeah, right. Apologies, you're correct. Right, so in, yeah, in response to me playing the Graveyard Trespasser, you could have gotten the... Savine's Reclamation, right. bring that right away. Right. I don't draw a card because I'm not casting it, but it... Wait, I don't draw a card because I'm not casting it. That's obviously why I didn't do it. I, I okay. drew cards instead. All right, never mind. I made the right play. All right. <laughs> I don't think I had too many choices. I think the most interesting choice I had in the game was that tutor. Yeah, I guess drawing the, you know, Hall of Heliod's Generosity instead of just drawing the Sethus 
there, like that kind of gave me enough time to finish the game. But yeah, if you're like one one draw step deeper, it's a very different game. Which maybe will be one we'll see. Good luck to you, friend. Good luck to you as well, sir. Game two! I will be on the play. Very good, very good. Hmm. I will be sending this one back. Mine's a thinker. Uh-oh, thinker. <laughs> Uh-oh, thinky. Yeah, I'll put it back, too. My only land, Nykthos. I had lands, I just didn't have any action for, like, the first three turns. Uh, you don't need early interaction against my deck. Uh, yeah, you don't worry about Everything it. Everything will be fine. Yeah? Just let him cast his enchantresses. <laughs> let him have his enchantresses, coward. No. Like, in my hand, I did have Shale Dread of the Apocalypse, which is, like, particularly good against you, because you can sure. kind of, like, put it down, and then you're like, well, now you can't win. Um, unless you already have the champion, or you've got to get your Caracas first, but... But just fairly playing Shale Dread on turn four as your plan on the draw <laughs> doesn't seem great. Uh, no, no, thank you. When you're smiling. How about you? Oh, are you smiling at your hand? You're good. When you're smiling. Oh, yeah. This is the business right here. Let's probably put that one away. Right. That's just too big. Right. Remember that part where you have to put a card back? Yeah. The worst. I remember. Hmm. Which one is am I putting back? <laughs> Weirdly, it's this one. Same. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. I have a very good hand. Nice. I don't need a win condition. No, you'll draw another one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just cantrip. Uh, all right. Cantrips. I, uh, I'm going to take a page out of your book here and start by doing two damage to myself. Nice. Temple Garden untapped, yep. and I'm going to cast and put an unbridled growth on it. Ooh, yeah, I love Chanted land can tap for any card, and then I can sacrifice the growth to draw a card. Or tap for any color, any card. Got it. Pass. Unbridled growth. I will play a swamp and say go. Strip mine. Nice. Green and a strip mine for an Argothian Enchantress. Okay. Pass. I like this turn. I have Knight's Whisper. I'd like to draw two cards and lose two life. This oh, one doesn't oh target, yeah. So yeah. I do love yeah. winning with Sign in Blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here. Thinking. It's my best joke. I know. <laughs> nice. Yeah, absolutely. Uh... Cards in hand? I currently have three. Sure, let's exile Fatal Push since I can't target your creature to summon Grief. Sure, and you get to choose. Folk. Yeah. Oh, sorry, this gets exiled. Uh, yes, it's target opponent reveals her hand. I choose a non-land card from it. You discard that card. All right, my hand is Gas. Okay. Spirit of Companion, mm. Gas. Wolf Haven, Wolf Willow Haven, also Gas. And I, I wouldn't worry about this this one here. Uh, there's just a three mana enchantment called Enchantress's Presence. Probably probably not that good. I mean, I'll take that one, but you do get to like Ancestral Recall on your turn, yeah. so I'm still not feeling great. Back to you, friend. I do like where Enchantress is at, where you show two like commons from like that feel like draft from standard. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, and you're like gas, man. <laughs> not a word of a lie. Oh, uh, rip the land off the top. Razor Verge Thicket. It's cool. quite good here. Yep. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and tap two to cast Spirit and Companion. Cast trigger. ETB trigger. You got it. I should have sequenced that differently. I'm I agree. supposed to play the Wolf Willow Haven first so that I can draw a card off it and then I have a new acceleration. I can play the Spirit and Companion after. Neat. If Ta you've already written that comment down, just go ahead and send it. It's fine. I attack you for zero. Okay. Sending a message. Zero. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Go. Untap. Derp. Oh, well. Hmm. 
I was like, but this draws me too. It's tempting, right? Okay, let's ransack the lab. I get to look at the top three, put one in my hand, and the other two in the graveyard. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Thinking. Mm. Sure. I'll take this one and put Urborg and Takanuma in my graveyard. Ah, so three lands? <laughs> <laughs> Back to you, Serge. <laughs> I'll never tell. Untap. Draw for the seal. turn. All right. We get to do some cool stuff now. Okay. Uh, we're going to start by playing a forest. Okay. And then two mana, I'm going to cast Wolf Willow Haven on the forest, sure. drawing a card. You got it. Then... I'm going to tap for a green and cast Oath of Nyssa. Draw nice. trigger, then ATB trigger. Sure. So I'll draw. And then when it enters the battlefield, look at the top three. I may reveal a creature, a land, or a planeswalker. I'm going to reveal a Satessan champion. Nice. Um, and then the, the, bottom uh, the bottom in any order. Powerful. This is in my hand. Uh, and then I'm going to cast... Oh, that's only green, green. Storm is two. Tax. Losing one life. <laughs> I'll go. Untapping. Sure. City of Traitors. Yep. Five mana. Here it comes. Batter Skull. Ooh. Ooh. Foxy and germ token. Yeah. Pass. It's a good draw. Okay. Green and one. Uh, three mana. Yep. I'm going to cast Satessan Champion. Resolves. Uh, land for the turn. I'm going to crack this and get a Savannah, putting me down to 17. like to cut. Sure. All right. Green and a white. I'm going to cast Trace of Abundance onto nice. my Savannah. Enchanted Land, Land has, has Shroud. Oh, Shroud, right. Yeah, whenever it is tapped for mana, I may add one of any choice, uh, any color of my choice. Sure. So I have a cast trigger. Yeah. And then I have an ETB trigger. You got it. You draw a card to you, right? Yes. Thank you. No worries. I was like, what's happening here? Uh, I'm going to tap for green, green. Okay. And I'm going to cast a fast bond. Nice. So then green I've floating. got, uh, I've got a green mana floating. So I've got cast trigger, ETB trigger. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to play my second land for the turn, taking a damage. I've got access to two there. Uh, I'm going to filter into green, green. Yep. And cast Shigeki. Nice. Jukai Visionary. So return it to uh, an activated ability to end tap and return it to an center hand. Reveal the top four cards of your library. You may put a land card from on, onto the battlefield, put the rest into your graveyard, and then channel XX Green Green Discard. Return X non legendary cards from your graveyard to your hand. So cast trigger, ETB trigger. I'm going to play a Wasteland. And I'm going to wasteland your city of traders. Go. Okay. One tap. Hmm. Swamp. Go. 
untap. The problem with this deck, especially with enchanted permanents, <laughs> is you're like, how do you how do you organize your mana in a way that like clearly shows good stacks, right? So we'll do. I think you're doing great. We'll do something like this. Yeah, as long as you remember that unbridled growth only adds one. Oh, it doesn't add anything. It, yeah, this, no, I just yeah, 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 yeah. It filters the color. But yeah, I, but I think you've been playing fine. Are you? Are those stay tapped or? Sorry, no worries. Yeah. <laughs> See, it made a nice pile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately makes mistake. All right, draw for the turn. Let's talk through our untap step together. <laughs> we're we're going to do it perfectly. All right, uh, let's filter. All right, let's start off by tapping uh, green green to cast a Sanctum Weaver. Okay. Cast trigger. Yep. ETB trigger. Land for the turn is going to be a Deserted Temple. Okay. That's only mana neutral currently. Like if I untap one of the twos, I have to pay one to untap it. Doesn't do much for me yet. Right, yeah, you don't have your Sarah Sanctum out or anything. Or... This having Shroud is actually really yeah, awkward. Right, yeah. <laughs> Prevents you from putting another Fertile Ground on it and then turning it into a yeah. worthwhile target. For the so, like, cycle. maybe I was actually supposed to target the Forest. I think I used all my mana that turn. Maybe I had one left. But there's a w world in which maybe having one land for three, but then I can't untap it anyways because it has Shroud. So, yeah. uh, food for thought. All right, I'm going to cast a Burgeoning. Okay. Uh, tapping a... Green, cast trigger, ETB trigger. You got it. Uh, green and white. I'm going to cast a Sithis. That's the wrong card. A Sithis. Okay. Uh, cast trigger, ETB trigger. Uh, second land for the turn. Take a damage off of Fast Bond. Uh, let's crack this down to 13. I'm going to get a basic Planes. Would you like to cut? Sure. Uh, I'm going to path to exile your germ token. I will search for a land. Well, how does burgeoning work? It's whenever you play a land. Great. So it doesn't it doesn't double trigger off fetch lands. Whenever any opponent plays a land, you may choose a land from your hand and put it into play. I have put a swamp from my library onto the battlefield tapped. Awesome. Uh, I'd like to go to combat. Excellent. Uh, so, seven, eight, nine. I'll take nine. I'm going to assume that five is a breakpoint for your deck, and I'm going to strip that swamp. Okay, just a moment. Yeah. Okay, you may cut. You're fine. I'll return Batter Skull to my hand. Yeah, with the <laughs> only three, yeah. Uh, go ahead. Okay, I'll untap. Draw. Hmm. Not exactly what we wanted, but that's okay. Let's play a Swamp. Um, and a Black Lotus. Ooh! And make some mana. Recast this Batter Skull. Yep. Ball ritual <laughs> and tendrils for four. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. All right. You this go way, to this 16, way. I gain life. Yeah. And I go down to five. Sick. Little baby tendrils there. Maybe we can rip uh, some other way to win this game. All right. Back to you, friend. Uh, upkeep, I'm actually going to sacrifice Unbridled Growth to draw a card. Sure. I'm going to draw a card for the turn. Okay. Oh, I had a... It doesn't matter. I was going to say, I have a, I had a trigger off of Burgeoning, but it doesn't matter. Right. I missed that too. Yeah. Sorry. 
That's fine. Uh, okay. The land I'm going to play is Hall of Heliod's Generosity. Okay. How many enchantments do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to add nine white mana. Sounds good. Uh, and Hall of Heliod's Generosity. I'm going to put Enchantress's Presence on top. I have seven white mana floating. Uh, then I'm going to use one of it and go down to six. And I'm going to cast Land Tax. I have a cast trigger. I have a cast trigger and gain a life. So uh, first trigger, second trigger, gain a life. Then ETB trigger, I will draw a card and put a plus one plus one counter. I just I think you bumped your life gain twice, but you only want to gain one here, right? Because we've only cast one enchantment this turn. Uh, pardon me, you're probably yeah, I just, correct. I think I had you at five last turn. So. Okay, that's fine. I'm sure we're going to put you up at 30. <laughs> uh, pretty quick here. Uh, I'm going to spend, I'm going to add green, green to my mana pool. Uh, spending one and two, I'm going to cast Enchantress's Presence. Great. So I have cast trigger, cast trigger, gain a life, ETB trigger, gain a life. There we go. Uh, green and two, I'm going to cast a Ramanap Excavator. So I now have access to Strip Mine, mm -hmm. Fast Bond. Uh, that would kill me. Sorry, there is one more combo piece. <laughs> uh, this is why I was. This is why the math was off. Uh, green and one. I'm going to cast Druid Class. Oh, great. Uh, so draw, draw, draw. So draw three and gain a life, and then draw a card and put a plus one plus one counter here. Okay, so here's the one extra thing here. Uh, I can now demonstrate a loop. So with Strip Mine, I can play a land, gain a life. That offsets the one damage that we get from Fast Bond. So I'm effectively neutral right there. And I can blow up a land, replay a land, blow up a land, replay a land in order to make infinite mana. Oh, I see. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so I, have, uh, I don't currently have a way to gain infinite life, but I currently have infinite mana. Right. So I'm going to put this away. So you can have infinite white and or green. Infinite okay. white and or green mana, correct. All right, how do I win from here? <laughs> oh, um, the way that I can win from here is you're at 16. I'm at 16. So um, we'll assume that this is untapped, and we'll assume that this is untapped. And I'm going to also play these but not crack them. Okay, so... If you play them but don't crack them, you actually have to lose life, right? No, no, no. I'm not cracking them because oh. I uh, every time I play a land, I oh, gain I see. a life. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. just play them yeah. and have them hang out. All right. So here's oh. a couple of things we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna great. play these. Then I'm also gonna strip mine and destroy our lands. Okay. And then also play the strip mine. Okay. And then I have uh, the ability here, Druid class, and I believe, and correct me if I'm mistaken, I can activate the third one multiple times. Is that correct or no? No. No, I can only do it one time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then we're going to have to work a little bit harder here. <laughs> um, oh, right, okay. So I'm going to cast Idyllic Tutor okay. with the infinite mana that I have. And I'm going to get the card that does let me do that. I have a plan. Great. Destiny Spinner. Okay. So for, uh, three sure. and a green, target land you control becomes an XX elemental creature with Trample and Haste, where X is the number of enchantments that you control. Okay. So that is going to be put into my hand. Uh, so you can make like eight, ten. I'm going to cast it, draw, 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 sure. draw, and gain a life. Okay. Yeah. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen um, enchantments, and a destiny spinner is going to turn all of my untapped lands except for this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm okay. going to attack you with 130 damage and haste and trample uh, artifact lands. I will block the strip mine. <laughs> all right, game three. Let's do it. Nicely done. Thank you. Yeah, Druid class. I guess it's just a, a one and done. It's not a an activate multiple times because I was conflating that with um, Destiny Weaver, which right, yeah, because yeah, they Destiny are Spinner. it's very very very, very similar. similar. Yeah, exactly. 
Um, so I got to do a little Desperation Tendrils there, which... I actually like that a lot. Yeah, I, I will say this deck, you know, like, part of the, like, weird hodgepodge of various plans that's going on inside my deck, like, when you do a Medium Tendrils or, like, a Desperation, like, Try Not to Die Tendrils, you're not in as weird of a spot as you might be in, like, the all-in. Sure. Deck. Yeah, 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 right? Because you're like, how do I rebuild when my combo fails yeah. if you're all-in Storm? I mean, it was the same there, because it was, like... From from my point of view, it looked like, well, okay, with this germ token, maybe Surge isn't killing me next turn, but he also might be, uh, which is what happened. But if you're if you're not killing me, I have like not only the Yog Will I can possibly you know dig for or draw like would be the case typically with like the all in storm plan, but I also might just be able to find like a sweeper or sure, a relevant yeah. removal spell, and then like maybe I'm still just kind of fencing. So are you playing Wraths? Like, do, is that I something? I just have that... Damnation. Okay, yeah. sure. Interesting damnation over Toxic Deluge. I don't know that I can reliably expect to have the free life points. Of yeah, Toxic Deluge. fair. Honestly. It was. <laughs> this is one of my last few cuts. Was deciding between damnation and Toxic Deluge. Yeah. This deck has a bunch of like actual mana rocks. Sure. So I decided that just the extra one point was worth it. Um, maybe maybe random thought switch to all snow basics and use that three mana. Yeah, that might not be a terrible plan. It does have a bunch of non basics, but yeah, that's that's a consideration for sure. The blood on the snow. Or, Thank you or, for knowing. I can't remember what that no, card was that's, called. It's not blood on the snow. But yeah, it's it's, it's, it's two. A, yeah, it's it's two black. and black. Yeah. And it uh, minus minus equal to number of snow colored permanents you control. Yeah, that might be a good plan. Man, honestly, I, this deck. so I've I've actually piloted. Mono black, big black, medium black for a while. Yeah. I miss OG mono black control, and you're like, yeah, I'll play every three mana sweeper, every sure. languish. Like those were a different days. They those were different days of the were. format. Yeah, before 2019, there were a lot more Wrath of Gods flying around. Yeah, you want to talk to you want to talk to me about black sweepers? I got you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, just running damnation this time. I'll go first. Yep. Yeah. How did I hmm. perfectly count out eight cards there? <laughs> I, like, I was counting them one at a time, and I still got it wrong. <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, I'll keep. You good? Yeah. Good luck, okay. friend. I'm going to cast the Taxing Probe. Turn to you. All right. Show me. So I got Forest Forest. And I'll go in CMC here. Wild Growth, Enlightened Tutor. I like your first turn better than mine already. Eladrami's Call, Argothian Enchantress, and okay. a Corsair of Crufix. All right, great. Thank you. Uh, swamp go. I've got forest, wild growth, pass. Okay, Volrath's stronghold, grim monolith. Oh yeah. Go. Oh yeah. We're both building. A very interesting turn now, because I can Argothian Enchantress leave a mana up, or I could just Courser and get the information on the next card. Right. Or if I Courser the turn after, then I get to draw a card and maybe play land off the top. Right. Uh, I think it's supposed to be Argothian Enchantress because Courser uses my mana better, but then I, I'm in kind of a clunky spot there. Right. You're untapping with six mana. You could just be like Grave Titan go. Ooh, yeah. Herberg. This deck does like to do that. Um, okay, let's float a colorless and cast the aforementioned damnation. Ooh, you had it! I had it. He had it! Every now and then, we've got to put the Enchantress in the grave. Yeah. Okay, two mana for Wishclaw Talisman, and I'll say go. All right, ends step. I think this is correct. Wait, that tune is for anything. Yeah, but then you get tutor for anything. It's fair and balanced, as all things should be. Everything's fine. Great. Untap. Draw for the turn. Horse of Crufix. You got it. Never didn't have it. Never didn't have it. Always had it forever. Play a land off the top. It's a Marsh Flats. Revealing a land off the top. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. I'll tap these ones. Draw. 
Hmm. Play a polluted delta and then cast Phyrexian Arena. Yeah, I love your deck. Go ahead. All right, end step. I'm going to crack and I'm going to stay neutral. I'm sure. going to pay a life but then gain a life. Sure. And I'm also going to shortcut by casting a crop rotation. Okay. So this is going to be a savanna. I'm going to cast a crop rotation, sacrificing the forest. Sure. So um, we'll go first. So we'll go down to 20. We'll go up to 19. Uh, we'll get the savanna here. Tap to cast a crop rotation. Crop rotation. Uh, technically, you get to see another card in my deck. I uh, know about it. Sun Petal Grove. Yeah, because if we if we don't super shortcut everything there. I have the information. <laughs> uh, we're going to go get a Sarasanctum and then gain a life off of that. 22. That odd balance between trying to shortcut for the purposes of making things faster, but also trying to explain every step yeah. of what happened here. Trying to satisfy them sticklers. Where is my Sarasanctum? There it is. Currently taps for two. So we'll shuffle, we'll cut, we'll reveal the top card, and then we'll uh, start the next turn. Uh, top card is a Mesa Enchantress. Okay. Enchantress, pardon me. Very good. All right, draw for the turn. Top card is a Finale of Devastation. Fascinating. I don't have an enchantment in hand, <laughs> which is odd. I have five cards, no enchantment. I mean, you drew that Enchantress when you could have cast your... Light tutor. Yeah. Then you'd have an enchantment hand. Let's go. You made your decision, Serge. <laughs> uh, let's cast a Crucible of Worlds. Awesome. And then I'm going to play a Marsh Flats. Okay. Gaining a life. One, two, three, four. You're on the play. What do I want to do here? So I can't overextend too much because there's definitely a world in which even if you give me this for black, you tutor for removal spell. So if I overextend, like Wrath is already gone. Uh, but there is a point where I'm very conscious of the fact that this doesn't have to be a combo piece. This can just be a fair tutor in, if, this, if the circumstance calls for it. Yeah. So like I can't go That's get... That's what the deck's all about, right? <laughs> I can't go get like you any mega silver bullet right now. <laughs> Finale Devastation is obviously pretty great to grab. You've got your Rube Goldberg machine, and I've got this uh, sort of midfield play where uh, <laughs> you, you don't know quite where I am. What's he doing? Is he, is he going to cast Tendrils of Agony or Grave Titan? <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's crack this. Uh, going down to... I'm just going to do sure. the, the whole thing there. Sure, that's fine. Going down to 22. I'm going to grab a Ravduel. So Temple Garden, untapped, so I'm going to lose two, Game but Chorus of Crufix is going to get me up to 21. Sounds good. And then we're going to see what our top card is, and then we're going to think about our next life choices. Sounds good. Right, you have Urza Saga in here just to be like I a do, land actually. also an enchantment? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good land. That's a good land. Uh, three mana, I'll cast the uh, Misa Enchantress. You got it. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, I'm untapping. Yeah. I'll lose a life. Yep. I'll draw a card. I'll draw another card for the turn. Okay. I'll do some math. Sorry, Nelly's going to... No, that's fine. Now, yeah. Ooh, I might, I might be dead. That's the hope, right? Can he count to 11? Yeah, who knows? Only the shadow. One, two. Oh, no. Maybe. 
maybe? Mm, seems like no. Survey says, but we're oh. also like pretty under the gun here with this Crucible instrument. You don't have the fast bond yet, so I guess there's that. We've got that going for us. Um, what the heck is our plan B though? It's pretty savage. It's not much of a plan B. Mm, that doesn't do anything. Cards in hand three. Three, correct. Oh, and I know about an enlightened tutor. So you can just tutor for fat spawn and then play, yeah, play any enchantment to draw a card. Dang. Okay, we're going back in the tank. <laughs> <laughs> we have to do all of the all of the combinations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, believing that he has no other choice, Nelson will just begin his sequence here. Sure. Cabal Stronghold. Now, which one is that? Uh, it taps for colorless, or for three and right. tap, you can get maybe more. And you've got the you got the Urborg Cabal Coffers online. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have a Cabal Coffers in the deck. This one doesn't do Cabal Coffers because it restricts oh. you to basic swamps. Sorry, actually. that's a thing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it needs to be basic swamps. Ah. Okay, I'll look through my library for a card. And sure. Do this. Okay. The time has come. It is time. Yeah, I mean, I could just do that. That's kind of funny. So all your tutor, I'll just very quickly. Yeah, uh, Nelson has correctly identified that this is probably the, the final turn here. It's very likely that I have a combo win next turn. So Nelson has kind of been putting in a tough spot to go for it. Uh, maybe a little earlier than he wants. He might even have it. We don't like, that's the beautiful thing about combo decks. So we are, this is the build up, the moment of anticipation for the final turn of the game. Exactly. Yeah, even with, even if like you don't have the combo win, you at least have the ability to get rid of all of his lands. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a scary time for Nelly. Getting constantly landed into the dirt. It's enchantress lands. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Enchanted into the dirt, then, if you prefer Surge. That's fair. Okay. There's this one. Yeah, okay. So, I'm going to keep tutoring. I have a deck. I okay. found a card. Okay, let's, let's see it. I'll cast a Black Lotus. I thought that was a card you can go get. I'll All right, four mana. Four black, I have an Urborg. Make seven black. Okay. I'll cast Behold the Beyond. Okay, so seven. Oh, it's all gone. All right. Yeah. So I'll discard my hand, which was Kalidus and Sorin the Mirthless. Yeah. And go get three other cards and put them in my hand. Okay. You currently have zero mana. Zero mana. That's right. Yeah. It pretty much has to be these three, doesn't it? You know, like Lotus Petal. Dark Ritual. And Dark Ritual. Yogwell. And then Yogwell. Yeah. So this was spell number two. Yes. All right. I'll keep track of Storm Count for you here. Uh, so Storm is two in the red. You have zero mana floating. Mm -hmm. So spell three. Yep, so cast Lotus Petal. Spell four. Cast Ritual. You now have three black mana. Spell five. Use all the black mana to cast spell five. Yogwill is now in play. You can cast spells out of your graveyard. Yeah, okay. So we'll say spell six. Yep. Spell seven. Yep. Uh, spell eight. Yeah, so the question here is obviously Storm Count is getting high enough. Ooh, the probe is very clean there. Yeah. So probe gets you a free card and a free Storm Count. So you can probably count to 11. He needs a tutor. If he gets a tutor, he's in business. Yeah, I can see your hand. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Uh, my hand is, I absolutely have the win. I have an enlightened tutor and, and an ability to tutor for a creature. So I can get an enchantment creature and fast bond and have strip mine. Mm -hmm. So lock you out, generate infinite mana. Uh, I don't know if I can make infinite life, but I've got I've got the win basically 100% next turn. Nice. Well. Sorry, I drew a card that no one knows about. Mm. It's a mystery card. Okay. Yeah, we needed to hit a tutor because we don't quite have enough for Behold the Beyond, right? We've got six mana if we crack the Lotus Petal and we can't Behold the Beyond shenanigans one more time. We needed to hit like either the tutor or, or it could have been a Cabal Ritual off the top. Um... Actually, this card does 
two things. <laughs> sure. Like, play it out. Yeah. Uh, do I want my Dark Ritual in my bin still? I guess I have used my Yogwell, so it doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, this is the most typical fashion that this deck does things, right? Sure. We're gonna we're gonna cast twelve spells, yeah, and then not tendrils here, right? Make a black, make three black. So three mana. Hold on, so here nine storm count. Yeah. Okay. And, and then I'll cast. Do I want to do this one first or that one first? I think probably. Do I want to be able to do that? Sorry, I'm just trying to decide between damnation and Soren the Mirthless, classic, right? I guess keeping you off cards is more important. Sure. I'll cast this Damnation. Oh! Uh, so you only have three black currently. Sorry. Yeah, okay, so crack that. You're up to six black. You're going to Wrath me! Yeah, I'm Wrathing you again. Okay, so you kill my two Enchantresses. But I cast 12 spells uh, before I Wrath you the second time. And then I'll cast a Dothy Voidwalker. So That's why you're curious about the order. And it make you dance around a little bit more in order to... Oh, the, the reset. Theory. Okay, so yeah. I can get... I can get... Cruci okay, sure. And, and now we've seen both hilarious sides of the flailing mono black storm deck. Yeah. The Desperation ri uh, Ritual and the Desperation Behold will be all to put all of your useful stuff into exile. Yeah. Back to you, Serge. That's actually a really cool turn. Yeah, thanks. Uh, right and also, this is all permanence, right? Uh, if a card would be put into a opponent's graveyard from anywhere. Yeah, so that uh, shuts off my shenanigans. Yeah, yeah. The, okay. the draw off the Xaxian oh. Probe actually was relevant. Hilariously. Yeah, so, all right. Strip mine is in my hand. Cool. This changes a lot of things. Well done. Hey, One, thanks. Two, I'm still playing three, Magic. Four, five. Tap, you can tutor if you want. Oh, I don't have black mana. Oh, it doesn't cost me it doesn't black cost mana. Black mana. Oh! It does let me tutor on my turn though, and my Grave Titan is still in my deck. Well, this changes everything. Yeah. Crap. No. No. I have. I haven't played a land yet. <laughs> All right, this is kind of a janky play, uh, but I like it. Awesome. So Tessin Champion. Okay. Um, play the Strip Mine. Okay. I'll return this back to sure. you with one counter on it. Great. This is like really bad for me. Yeah, these cards are great. I'm playing like lots of these. So I'm going to get a Journey to Nowhere. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> right? Like we got ourselves an odd little reset here, and I'm kind of here for it. Would you like to cut? Sure. Uh, so Journey to Norway is going to enter. This is an enter trigger. Plus one, plus one counter and to draw a card. Okay. And I'm going sure. to eat your Dothy walk Void Walker. You got it. Uh, I have played a land for the turn. I only get one. All these lines that I thought about with Fast Bond. Yeah. Like, well done. It didn't quite fit, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, I get to untap. I have the Wishclaw Talisman and a Phyrexian Arena, but no cards in hand. Yeah. And no Lotus anymore. Yeah, you're drawing to a lot of your Storm Kills are gone. Now yeah. now the mid range, now the mid range plan kicks right. in, right? Yeah, the mid range plan is super great against Fast Bond <laughs> Crucible Strip Mine. Yeah, go. So, yeah, like the Vantage Muffin way over on <laughs> Nelly's side here. Uh, 14. Okay, drawing for turn. It actually does something, so that's cool. Um, I do have black mana. You have an herb organ play. What am I saying? Yeah, you don't I need it. Sorry, I, I did say you don't need it. I didn't you, need it. Yeah, but I have black, black metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got all the black mana you could ever hope for. Um, is that like a three in my deck that's like super bonkers against you? I don't think so. Other than Graveyard Trespasser, but you don't have the thing in your bin right now. Yeah, so I do have good cards in my bin, but yeah, nothing nothing like super pivotal right now. And yeah, Strip Mine is technically safe here. Yeah. I think I'm just on... You discard an instant or sorcery with Collective Brutality. That's actually really big. You yeah. get to pick. So uh, my Enlightened Tutor for Fast Bond. Yeah, I think that's the one I take. Instead of, and it's exiled or is it just discarded? It's discarded. That's another really good draw. Yep. Yeah. All right, there goes my Fast Bond line again. <laughs> Although... And an Eladrami's Call and Enchantress's Presence in the hand. Yeah, exactly. Okay. 
Right. There's no creature that's also a fastball. There's a creature that's also a crucible. So the Elder yeah, the... Call probably just going to push you forward with your game plan. Well, I don't need that one. I need yeah, multiple exactly. lands. Yeah, no, I mean, your Elder yeah. Call is just getting an Enchantress or a big thing, right? Yep. Um, okay, sweet. I'm just going to play the Swamp and say go. All right. Untap. 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 Draw for the turn. All right. Uh, first order business. Uh, yeah, three mana. Green, green, green. I'm going to cast Enchantress's Presence. Uh, ETB, draw, big. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three. Three. Three white. So three white and a green. I'm going to cast Eladrami's Call, floating two white. Cool. Could... Oh, what's up? How much do you care? So you asked if there was a three drop that oh. would change things. Oh, yeah? Oh, for my deck, you mean? Yes. Oh, yeah. There is something you could do right now. This is sorcery. Unless you know your entire... Oh, it is. This is sorcery. Right, never mind. Yeah, it's okay. I think, right? Only during your turn. Sorry, not sorcery. Yeah. Weirdly, only during my turn. No, it's fine. Yeah, no, I know the one you're talking about. I thought about taking it off of a previous tutor, actually. But I was, like, two up against it. Right. All right. Well, then, if you knew what I was talking about without yeah. saying anything, that it wasn't outside help. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Surge can have his elder call. Just gonna get Sithis. Awesome. You've already damnationed twice. Yeah. I'm not <laughs> gonna do that again. Your Sithis is safe. Although I do have a collector brutality in my graveyard. Yeah, I'm just sad. Yeah, but your Yog Will's also gone. <laughs> Don't tell Surge. All right, this is now in my graveyard. Man, um, there were. This is like a, a, a hard part of Highlander as well. Sometimes you've you've th you think of a line. You're like, this is what I'm going to commit to, and then new information, it's gone. Right. So I've had to sort of change my strategy. And I was like, right, and I'm just going to tutor for fast bond. Wrong tutor. Right. Right. Okay. Uh, I haven't played a land yet. So from the graveyard, I'm going to play a forest. Okay. Uh, forest and one, I'm going to cast Sithis. Cast Sithis. trigger. Yeah. ETB trigger. Yeah. And so I gain a life and that gets larger. No, because this is like once this is in play. Oh, right. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes. The next enchantment. Sorry. Play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I play. still have one white. Yeah. I've already played a land. Um, what I'm going to do is white... And one, I'm going to cast Seal of Cleansing. Nice. So cast trigger, cast trigger, draw two, gain a life, ETB, make that bigger, destroy the tutor. Sure. I will attack you for five. I take five. Pass. Untap your mouth. Lose life. Verdant Catacombs. Shale Dread. Mm. The Apocalypse. Wait, whenever an opponent draws a card? Mm -hmm. My deck! My game plan! <laughs> Back to you. They lose two life. Okay. Untap. 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 Draw for the turn. Oh. Lose two life. I drew swords. Oh, that's a good draw. <laughs> it's a very good draw. Uh, so I'll exile. Want to this one? This one's pretty good. Ah, oh, sorry, dog. <laughs> Four there. Uh, I'm going to play a wasteland. Sure. I'm going to wasteland your strip mine. I don't have a strip mine. I'm sorry. I'm going to strip mine your Urborg, and I'm going to wasteland your Volrath Stronghold. Thank you. That's good. Uh, we'll attack you for six. I'll take six. Another enchantress, Veridin enchantress. Okay. And a candle altar. There it is. Yeah. Very pretty. Pass. Okay, I'll untap. And I'll draw a card. Hmm. Uh, my 
save points. <laughs> Yes, it's probably still okay. Maybe. Sure. I'll fetch twice. Yep. Get some swamps. I'll shuffle in a bit. No worries. Um, okay, you need one more for this to do anything. Once you hit your fifth basic swamp, it starts making mana. <laughs> then you start getting ahead? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I'll cast a Ravenloft Adventurer and take the initiative. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll move into the secret entrance and find, find a, basic. a basic land. Yeah. Put that in my hand. And shuffle. Play this. Cast Hinda Turak targeting you. Two at random? Got it. I would like to respond. Good. Uh, I'd like to channel Beseju, oh, only for a single green, uh, to destroy your block, your creature. You can find another basic land. You can destroy creatures with that thing? Can't you? Yeah. Destroy target artifact, enchantment, or non-basic land. That's why I didn't do it the previous turn. All right. Well, at I least can't... I'm winning the read the cards race. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're, uh, yeah, I will not besage you, your creature. I was okay. like, it answers everything, doesn't it? You can blow up my Grim Monolith or my Phyrexian. Could you right imagine, now? though? Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, for a second there, I thought to myself, well, why didn't I just use it on the Sheodred before? Right. And it's yeah. like, right, because I couldn't. All right. right. Um, so okay. here's what we're going to do. All right. I don't know. You want to roll a die? Reroll on five, six? Sure. Okay. So one, four. Okay, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Right, so, that so you hit the Besage you that you knew about and a basic plane. Sure. All right, back to you, friend. I do like the idea, though, that like each untap upkeep, it's a new surge brain. <laughs> <laughs> it's starting to get there, dude. It's, it's getting there. Where, when's the coffee step? <laughs> yeah, all right. Draw for the turn. Fascinating. Okay, I'm going to cast Ossification. Enchant basic land you control on this forest. When it enters the battlefield, exile target creature and opponent, or uh, target creature or opponent, target creature or planeswalker an opponent controls until Ossification leaves the battlefield. All right, well done, yeah, sir. Yeah, cast trigger, cast trigger, cast trigger, draw trigger, sure. swing. Yeah, good games. We'll play. Thank it. you very much. I'm hoping to him that last removal spell, but I can't. Oh my god, it. yeah. I started to. Um, Come apart at the seams at the end there. It's <laughs> all good. Yeah, well played. So I, we got to see uh, kind of every corner of my deck. Obviously, like both games two and three, pretty close to winning on the oh my storm. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, actually, like not, you know. What was the three drop? Oh, I people are gonna want to know the three sure, drop. Sure. Yeah. What? Yeah. Ben was even chiming in about it. So on my turn before you cast your Eldarmy's call, I can go and get opposition. Ah, and I sort did of brick me when I'm tutoring for it. it. Yeah. What I really want. Is for you not to kill me or blow up my <laughs> yeah. my wishclaw talisman, and then for me to be able to like put myself actually ahead. Sure. Um, there is like a certain amount of like gotcha spice plan, and when you know your opponent has a, t a tutor, like it gets a lot better. Yes. So yes, that line, sure. I don't know if I if I think about it for the coming weeks, it's possible I'll end up saying like, oh yeah, I was definitely supposed to go find this rogue, and then pass. And just hope to get sure. to tutor and then tutor for a creature because I have your wish claw. I also have you know I have like two other tutors in hand. Yeah. And you're just like haha. Not only do I break the first tutor and get value back, I uh, I shut down the other two. And possibly like um, it had to do with me having just done a, a turn where I'm like struggling, need one more card, one card short of winning on storm. Um, and so I'm thinking about my proactive game plan, and so I might have just like mentally weighted that more heavily than trying to think about the reactive game plan. Well, these are both very nonlinear decks, right? And as such, having to coming up with one line to win is fine. It's easy because that's what you do when you practice as a deck. But having to readjust and recalculate after your opponent changes everything, yeah. Because you could see how my how quickly my mental state started to deteriorate. Oh, for sure. Yeah, it was a great match. It honestly. was a very good match. Very Thank you so much, friend. It. Yeah, well done. Well done. All right. Thank you very, very much for watching North 100 Showdown. This has been an absolute delight. My name is Serge, joined by the wonderful Nelson. I was Nelson. <laughs> Reminder that everything we do is brought to you by you. If you support the Patreon over at patreon.com slash Run. Reminder, if you have any questions about the format, if you want to see the deck, deck list we were playing, all that information is in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Ben on tech. I'll see you next time.
see you next time. Bye.